Meanwhile, after the devastating and unexpected loss of one of their canines earlier this year, the sheriff's office has sworn in its newest four-legged crime fighter. FGTV's Priscilla Ortega has the story. Now that Kojak is on duty, the Fulton County Sheriff's Office has three canines. And with the extensive training already complete, Kojak is ready to get to work. Kojak's official swearing in and 320 hours of extensive training is complete. We did a lot of building searches, searching for hidden suspects in the woods, um, his narcotic detection. He's trained on marijuana, methamphetamine, cocaine, and heroin. Sergeant Corey Henry handpicked his new canine partner because of Kojak's excellent temperament and high drive to work. They have to have the ability to hunt for their toy. You know, they have to have that drive in order to train them for narcotics. In apprehension, they have to, to um, have the aggression, but the control has to be there as well. The two-year-old Belgian Malinois is from Holland, weighs 75 pounds, and responds to commands in German, so suspects won't know what his next move will be. Sheriff Ted Jackson says this partnership will be something the entire area will benefit from. It really helps because we provide support to all the law enforcement, federal, state, and local, when they need help. And Sergeant Hendry has a great reputation, and he's really good with the K-9 program. Kojak replaces Sergeant Henry's former partner, Marco, who was euthanized earlier this year after vets diagnosed him with terminal cancer. Marco was with us for five years um, and did an excellent job. Caught a lot of perps and, and, you know, found a lot of narcotics and stuff like that. And he was an excellent dog, so he has a very good reputation, so he has some big paws to fill. Kojak has already met the two other canines who are part of the bomb unit and is fitting in nicely. So as for Sergeant Corey Henry, he was just awarded Supervisor of the Year for the Law Enforcement Division and completed 15 years of service. So Kojak is obviously in great hands. Reporting for FGTV, I'm Priscilla Ortega.